the future of television is here. And on this video, I'm going to do a complete review of the Amazon Fire TV Recast. That's a device from Amazon that allows you to record over the air television signals from your local CBS, NBC, ABC, PBS, etc. television stations and record them onto a hard drive and play them back using your Amazon Fire Stick. And here's the best part. You can actually use voice commands to skip through the commercials. Skip ahead three minutes. This video is going to cover three main points about the Amazon Fire TV DVR. I'm going to give you some tips on how to pick the best antenna for you so that you can possibly save some money. I'm going to share with you some very cool tips and tricks on how to use your Amazon Fire Recast DVR. And I'm going to show you what you absolutely must have before you can even install your Amazon Fire TV Recast DVR. This video is a follow-up to the video I did on how to cut the cord on cable TV. And for those folks who haven't seen that video, you should check it out because in the video, I share with you three steps that you must take before you call the cable company to cut the cord. And for those folks who haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video and in the video description. Here's a quick tip for you on how to record a program. Keep your eyes peeled for more quick tips coming up. Record Shark Tank. Recording scheduled for Shark Tank. Show my recordings. You can verify that a recording is scheduled by going to your recordings and clicking on the Manage tab. You'll see it in the list. In addition to the Amazon Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire TV Recast System works with all generation Fire TVs and streaming media players. Now let's see if I can help you save some money. To receive over the air digital television, you're going to need some type of antenna. And the type of antenna you need really depends on the distance you are from the transmission tower. If you live in the same city as the television stations you're trying to receive, the odds are very good that you'll be able to use an indoor antenna. I would recommend that you get an indoor antenna and try it first if you think you live close enough to the broadcast tower. If it doesn't work, you can always pack it up and send it back and then get an outdoor antenna. If the indoor antenna works for you, you can save some money because you don't have to get an outside antenna and have it installed if you can't install it yourself. Here's what I did. I live about 40 to 50 miles away from Tampa and I received my television signals all from Tampa. I wasn't sure if I would be able to use an indoor antenna but I had a feeling I was going to require an outdoor antenna so I went ahead and ordered one and stuck it up on a ladder before I installed it just to see how it would work. And it worked like a champ, 40 plus channels, so I went ahead and installed it permanently. Yeah, looks like I should have cleaned this window ahead of time. When you are ready to buy an antenna or even the Fire TV recast system, please use the Amazon affiliate link in the video description. Doing so will help us out. Thanks, guys. Here's another quick tip for you folks. If you own a smartphone, an iPad, a newer iPad, or a tablet, you can watch your Amazon Fire recordings or live television anywhere. In the morning, when you go to take a shower, turn on your local television station and hit pause. That way, when you get out of the shower, you can fast forward through the commercials. Let me show you a few more quick operating tips before we get to the requirement that Amazon has for hardware and software for installation. Tune to NBC. Tune to 
to NBC. How full is my DVR? You have 88% free on your DVR. Show my recordings. Here are your recordings. Delete Lucky Dog. This will delete all recorded episodes. Are you sure you want to delete Lucky Dog? Yes. Okay, deleted. As you can see folks, the Amazon Fire TV recast system is very easy to use. As the system evolves, there will be upgrades and changes. So if you have any tips and tricks for other folks in the future, please leave your tips in the comment section so that everyone can benefit from them. Okay folks, in order to set up your Fire TV recast, you must use the Fire TV app. And that has to be on a Fire TV tablet 5th generation or above, an iPhone or iPad with an iOS operating system 10 or above, and an Android mobile device with an operating system 4.4 or greater. I'll tell you what you can do here in a second, but you can see this is the message that I got on my iPad because I thought I was going to be able to use my iPad to install this. It turns out I had to use my Samsung phone. If you own a Fire Stick or other device and you're not inclined to buy a new phone or iPad just to install this Fire TV software, then you can borrow a phone from a friend, download the software, it's very easy to follow, very intuitive, download the software, install it, and then you can use the Fire Stick from that point on. And then you can delete the software from that person's phone. Thanks for watching.